everyone, and welcome back to All of Fabric 6. We are, of course, back on the server, quite a bit busy uh, today. Uh, in the last episode, we set up some power, so the, the mod power, <laughs> and it allows us to do things with power. Um, what we have here is an energizing orb, and that just lets you make some of the ingredients for more recipes. Um, and then we have an ender cell here. So this guy has one energy cell in him that allows him to store this much stuff. Um, and then he essentially allows for wireless um, power. So, the wireless power we're currently using is over here, in the form of an ender gate, and that provides power to this rancher, um, which we have shears, iron swords in and whatnot, and it's going to ranch stuff. And from the looks of things, it's actually pretty good, the, the rancher. If we click this little tab, um, it can feed, it can mate, and then there's also spots for limits. Now, these had text in them, so for example, this was 16, and this was seemingly 8, so I'm not too sure what reset that, but... I've changed that now, and I've also I've increased the range so that I guess if there's any other sheep in the distance, we'll ranch them up as well. <laughs> I guess, um, but yeah, that should work. And obviously, there was a spot there for um, or, or you could put wheat in there, and it'll actually not only will it grow animals, but it will um, not like like not only will it mate them, but it'll also uh, feed them to like grow them up. So we can put that in there, and if there's any baby sheep in there, it'll actually just feed them. Yeah, I feel like there should be another sheep. But I, I mean, I guess it's fine. <laughs> sure, wh whatever. Um, so, what are we doing this episode? Um, the first thing I want to do, honestly, is clean up a little bit. For example, I, I mentioned at the end of the last episode, and probably for a few episodes now, that I want to sort of cut the uh, farm up a bit, just to give it a little bit more shape and, and maybe even like a, um, a, a trim around it of something. <laughs> Whether that's stone or, or just spruce or... I'm not too sure, but I do want something to make it a little bit less just square. So we'll probably do that. Maybe maybe I'll get started on that once I once I finish thinking up another plan. Um, we do have quests. I completely forgot to redeem these last episodes. So what do we have? We have the Waystone quest. Um, we finished... What do we do? A trash can? There we go. <laughs> We'd probably go through these as well, because some of these are pretty cool uh, items that we probably want, like magnets and whatnot. Ropes, slime boots, elevators... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, even that big torch. Um, we did a Mark II upgrade, so we've got um, that guy. That was from a few episodes ago now at this point. And then that does appear to be everything. So, let's see. We got Nether Salad. We've gotten another Sink. And we got Netherite Scrap. And we got four of it, so we actually... We can make a piece of Netherite. Hmm. Lava Fishing Rod. Ooh. Trading station. Villager trading station. Huh. What do we... What do you think that does? Villager trading station. Is that the only block in that mod? At villager trading... Why, why isn't my search working either? I, I swear sometimes the search just doesn't work. Like... Uh, no, we're not working today. Showing all. I, I, I haven't done anything different this episode. Maybe I need to open the refined storage and search villager. No? Like, am I, am I crazy? Am I, have I lost all sense of what's happening? Or is this not making any sense that it's not working? Oh, this isn't even tasty. Um, but... It's weird that this is red, I feel, but showing craftable, showing all. Um, okay, I feel like this happened in another episode as well, and I, I don't really I don't really know what to do. Okay, well, I'll, I'll clean up the farm, and hopefully maybe it just needs some time to remember that it has a job to do. <laughs> Alright, well, I built that around, and I'll be honest, <laughs> I feel like it looks hideous. <laughs> It could be fine. I do have another idea. I'm thinking we put like some uh, logs, maybe like here and here on the corners. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit nicer. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> do we do we feel accomplished? Do we feel like we've achieved something today? Not quite. Not quite. I, I there are a few things I can think of that could definitely benefit. For example, maybe if I just put glowstone caps on the top of all of them, that may just make it look nice. <laughs> The only issue I have there is that I don't really have a way up, so I'm going to have to, like, do this on all of them. This looks so amateur, but <laughs> I, th I think it's fine. Oh, you know what? I, I thought of something else as well. So, we have it like this, and then maybe I just put a fence around it. 
Uh, l listen, listen, listen. It's coming together. I, I think that will actually look quite nice. Oh, we can't even search up the fence recipe. Oh, God. I've got, <laughs> I've got to somehow remember how to make a fence. I think it's just this, right? And then that makes fences. That's not going to be anywhere near enough. Hey, how's that? I, honestly, I think... I think we've done it. I think this now looks, um, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm skeptical to say good, but it, but it looks, L let's leave it there. It looks, it looks, y you could, you could say that. I don't think that's a far stretch. Um, we do need to now make a little fence gate. We don't need to make a fence gate, but I think, you know, if we really want to finish the picture here, we probably should, um, do that. Hopefully there we go. Nice. Awesome, because we really have to go in there, so we may as well keep it fenced off. Nice, okay, <laughs> awesome. This is full, by the way, so like we've got, or at least it was until I took the stacks over there. So it looks like our system is working once again. This guy should have power. Yeah, he's running, should be filling this with biomass. We're looking pretty good. Um, I may actually go ahead and turn this guy on, because I, I turned him off the other day, uh, or at least I stopped him from uh, filling up. So if we go here and set up to be output, this will now be receiving power. Um, it's got a lot to store. Once it's stored, it's probably going to be a lot better, but, um, yeah, that'll at least give these something to do. Um, so, what did I, I feel like there was something I was going, oh yeah, I was searching up stuff, wasn't I? I was going to search up that villager mod before, uh, before I discovered that I was not allowed to. Um, well, in that case, do I want to just make one of these? I, I guess we'll look through and I'll double check what options we do have, because I, I do like the fact that we do have a few options. Like, I could make a matter condenser. In fact, yeah, we could invest one scrap into the villager trading thing, one scrap into the matter condenser. Um, and then we can actually, you know, we can actually put together a few different things. Mending poppet. That's awfully achievable. Retains durability. Um, I'll bu I'm not too sure how bewitchment works, but that does sound pretty cool. Let me, let me bookmark these other things that I'm uh, considering making. We'll get all those. Then we'll, then we'll have a look. What does this do? Plus armor. Then we'll have a look at what we can actually do with netherite, because um, I'm sure there's some cool recipes there. So we can make a netherite trapdoor and ne a netherite uh, door. What can we do? Uh, some better ratios there. What does that do? Two? Oh, get oh, if we get an electric mixer. I might bookmark that. We could get two out of this. Okay. <laughs> Read it loud and clear. Um, all right. Because otherwise, obviously, we only get one. If we did have that one, what can we do there? We can make these ones netherite. Um, what's this? You can make an... I mean, we don't have four. We only have one. Possibly two, if we're very lucky. An efficiency pylon for Vitalize. Very interesting. Unbreakability upgrade for Paxels. I mean, once again, we don't have that much stuff, but it's still nice to look at. Huh. You can take netherite ingots, throw it through a portal that leads to the nether, and you'll get unobtainium. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's just a building block to, I guess, make an untextured block. Um, but it's pretty funny. Oh, and then what? It turns into five, and then it turns into one, and then it turns into five. So you get unlimited unobtainium. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um... I'll be honest, all the recipes are pretty bad. I haven't checked out this uh, netherite iron to see. I, I guess it's just pretty much the same stuff. A little bit of extra toughness. And then, what, well, you can do netherite gold, netherite emerald, netherite diamond. And then you can make a lodestone with that. Or you can make your tools even stronger, I guess. What's this? Netherite emerald with that. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, well, anyway... Honestly, looking at them, we probably want to use our netherite scrap just in scrap form. And it does seem to be the best um, use for it. So, first things first, can we make this thing? <laughs> okay. That's all we've got for the for the mending poppet. Actually, yeah, the, the mending poppet wasn't even the only one. The, oh, yeah, the trading thing as well. Can we make the trading thing? Oh, we pretty much can. We just need two blocks of raw iron. Okay. Do we have... I think we may even have iron in... No, I thought we might have had iron in... Uh, uh, ore form. Okay. I could go into the twilight forest or I could just start mining in here. Um, it's probably going to be the better, uh, situation. So deep slate iron, overworld generation, pretty much at wide, what, negative two. Um, so I'll see if I can get there. Um, now the actual iron we get, I obviously want it to be in this form. And how much did I need? I think I just need about 19 of it. 
So we'll see what happens. I also very much should invest in um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like fortune and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like actually get some enchants happening, um, or even some upgrades for this drill. I'm sure they exist too. All right, I gave up by the way, and we're back in the twilight forest. <laughs> um, so let's go in here and pick up a stack of this. Beautiful. Is there more over there? What? I mean, there's more. There's stuff everywhere, but we we got what we came for. <laughs> so we'll be back for the rest later. I should just make a waystone there. You know what I should actually do? I should climb to the top and then just glide down to my base. That's <laughs> or to the portal. That's probably going to be the best bet. Uh, so if I stand here, is there anything else in here that we want? Not really. And while we are here, let's go ahead and. Uh, get us some obsidian. <laughs> Why not? This is honestly the best place to get obsidian. If you don't have a, like a machine set up, just like in the twilight forest, there's just a crazy amount of this stuff. Like I even see some more over there. I might just go snatch up. Alrighty. So we've got everything. Um, we can probably make the bits that we need specifically here. So we'll go there. Two blocks of raw iron. Uh, the rest of the stuff can obviously just go into the system. Like so. These two bits will go here and here. Trading station. How does it work? Not a clue. Couldn't tell you, but hopefully we'll find out. So if I place it here, it does nothing. Cool. Um, I think it said that I needed to break it with a, um, a hoe, but I mined it too quickly. <laughs> is that really what just happened? Oh, I think it is. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We obviously, we have enough stuff. It's just, it's a bit of a waste. That, that was a little bit upsetting. Okay, well, <laughs> let's not do that this time, hopefully. Okay, just try to remember, don't break it. Don't break it. But in theory, I can place it here? No, how did this work? How strange. Yeah, as you can see, oh. Okay, so it's got a floating thing that I've obviously placed on it. And as you can see, yeah, you, you're meant to use a, um, a, a hoe. So I think we've got one in here. And then that will allow us to pick it up. Yeah, oh, and it's a massive block. So, what if I place it in here? Or can I like, can I pick you up with it? No, but if I place you here. I have a feeling that I put items in it and the villagers will go up and trade with it automatically. That, that, that's my first guess here. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'll teleport home, we'll grab some wheat um, and we'll see if that is the case. I mean, that, that, would, that would be pretty cool because I, I could send stuff wirelessly over there, have it just fill up with, you know, wheat or whatever it is that we want and see where that goes. So, trading station. I put in wheat. This is obviously, he can trade wheat. Um, so, I don't really know. And then, <laughs> what, I get emerald and say, one emerald, please? Um... Well, I'm not too sure. I get. I guess we'll leave it there, and I'll I'll check in on it later, perhaps. Yep. Feel feel free. Feel free to make some some trades. I mean, look, this, they're going all the way around. Like it's done a full full loop now, of all of these um bits of wheat. Is it doing like some sort of ritual? Is it, there is another thing. It does have like um, a spot possibly to be ignited. So I can switch to our flint and steel. Oh, no, that's an axe. Oh, I got rid of the flint and steel, didn't I? <sighs> Let me go grab a flint and steel and see if maybe we need to ignite that. Oh, and we, we, look, nice. Baby villager. That, that can be a something. <laughs> it can be a something at some point. Yeah, let, let, let's have a look. So if we run in here, I should be able to get uh, flint and steel... There we go. We'll bring this with, and we'll see. If this doesn't work, I, I can't really think of anything else that, that may work. Okay, so we've just got the two wheat there. <gasps> okay. That doesn't seem to do the trick though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Really don't know. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave it there for now, I guess, and whenever we come back to look for some more emeralds, we'll see if that did the trick. <laughs> sure. Um, either that or I guess I can look up the mod. 
Um, what else do we have then? We were going to make uh, this mending poppet. We can make some bits from this. It, it does look like I'll need to put in a little bit of effort, but I, I do believe we can do it. Uh, the vines I don't think we have, but I'm sure we can find some. Um, unbundled hay bale. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because I was wondering why there was a, another recipe using a string for this. Hay bale needs a string to bundle the hay. Very interesting. Okay. Um, we don't have string. <laughs> but I do believe we have wool of various extents. Um, and I imagine we can turn this into string. We can do that with a grinder with a millstone. There we go. That's, that's all we need to see. All right, and then we can do the hay bale. So that's one part of this puzzle complete. Beautiful. Next is going to be garlic, dried kelp, and vines. So kelp I know we have. I just need to dry some of it. So we'll put that there to dry. Um, garlic, clearly we don't have. Oh, we can check the chest, the double chest over there. That, that does have some stuff. Um, and then vines. I mean, there's a few places it could be. I'm thinking maybe like this biome over here. Old growth. Pine, maybe. We could probably look for a jungle ass. Oh, did that just completely void it? Okay, well, <laughs> we have more kelp in the river, I'm pretty sure, so that should be fine. Uh, the garlic, we'll quickly check. Yep, we do have garlic. Beautiful. So it does look like kelp, and then and then we just need a vine. So um, we'll quickly hop into the river. See, there's a little bit of uh, kelp. I think there's more under the base. So grab that. Um, in the perfect world, I would have something in here that can smelt. But apparently it's not the perfect world. <laughs> I've, got, I've got nothing in there. Um, maybe I should just fill it up with... I mean, I guess I can fill it up with charcoal, right? What do we have in here? We have logs in here. But I want charcoal in there. So that is a bit of a problem. Let's go charcoal. Hold on. Put charcoal in there. So it should deny this piece of wood. That should go back, back along the, the chains. I don't really know why we're not getting charcoal at the moment. We'll double check over here. This guy should be smelting. Oh, he's full. So yeah, he should be he should be topping stuff up. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, <sighs> what, what do we do? I'll turn this into little bits. I'll put one stack of little bits in there, and the rest of the little bits I'll put in there, and that should work. Okay. So now I just need the vines. Um, where are we thinking is best situation for vines? Good question. Good question. And I do have shears, so I can pick up the vines if we do find them. I'm really trying to think. Where, where do we think? <laughs> I mean, I could go to a jungle. For example, if we grab this uh, nature's compass, I can just set this guy to be jungle. And then we're guaranteed it. So, I, I mean, I guess we'll look. See how close one is. 1,300 blocks that way. I mean, it's a pretty long journey for what we've got. Um, I'll check the desert. Oh, we, we also have another village. We'll, we'll go through here and we'll check everything. So um, we've got whatever this is. I think this is a village. I think it's like a rundown village though, maybe. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. This could just be, yeah, the nether. <laughs> I don't think we'll find any vines in here. Um, we'll go to our village then. See what we're dealing with. Um, because you never know, there's always strange things. Like, do any of these have vines on them? You know what as well? I don't have enough experience to do what I want to do. Look at that lion. Genuinely a little bit scary, so <laughs> we probably will leave. But beautiful, to say the least. Um, we've got some crazy, just natural structures here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'll find one in here, but what I was thinking is maybe there's a jungle closer to here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because currently that's 4,000 blocks away. So if we go back in here and we search jungle again, maybe we'll get an updated one that's a bit closer. Yeah, 600 meters. We can, we, we can arrange. There's also some snails. Are there? I mean, they're there, I guess. Uh, do we have our boat or did we lose that at some point? We lost it at some point. Um, how far across do we think this is? <laughs> So, oh, the, yeah, so that's the jungle down there, is it? And that's a forest. Where's this jungle? Oh, that's the jungle. Okay. So maybe if I go to the right... Oh, we've also got some Rainbow Beach. Oh, looks very cool. Um, We'll head to the right, and then we'll try to, like, go around that way, I guess. Oh, we actually went past the uh the beach. I wanted to have a look at this. Um, Yep, yeah, it's pink. 
And it's blue. Yep. <laughs> and we got an ender pill. I will happily take that. You know what? Coral, I think, is also quite nice to grab. Pretty much anything from the beach is like a, a win. Um, oh, and there's a hay bale if you ever needed one. So there you go, if you don't have any string. There's that one for you. Um, okay, yep. We'll not use the bridge because someone planted two trees either side of the bridge. Little, little inconvenient, but uh, you know, nevertheless, that's fine. I will say at this point, I probably should have just um, made a boat. <laughs> just, you know, on the record. But we wouldn't have seen all these beautiful things. For example, cherry trees. I, these are very nice. I think I will chop down at least one, maybe two cherry trees in the hopes of uh, some saplings. Um, yes, white cherry saplings. Beautiful. Is this a different cherry tree? Why do the leaves look different? Hold on, I think they may be. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll chop down this small one. Um, pink cherry, yes. Excellent. Come on. Beautiful. And we will borrow. Jeez, they, the noises they make. Um, but that should be good. Pink cherry and, and white cherry trees. Very nice. This looks like an actual cherry tree within the cherry forest. That's pretty funny. Um, and is this, what's this? An elder leaves. Um, you know what? I may actually chop this down. Um, in case we get into bewitchment. Because I don't know what it's for. And so I'll pick it up. <laughs> That's it. That seems like a pretty pretty good deal, right? And so then this is a jungle. And I've got Silk Touch on my drill. So I should be able to just do that. Maybe? Didn't really work, did it? Yeah, I guess I guess you do need to use shears. There we go. Five um, vines. Maybe we'll get a few more. There we go. A stack in a bit. Um, while we're here, probably could do with a tree. Or two, so can we get some saplings just to maybe bring some home? <laughs> Alright, well, we've got some jungle leaves anyway. I'm sure I can turn those into uh, what we want. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the phone. What do we have here? I was going to say um, I didn't really think about how to get back home. But it looks like we're going to be taking the airbus. Um, we've also found a temple. Let's do a quick look around, make sure there's no hidden chests. Um, one thing with these is they typically have tripwires and stuff, so... Okay, there's levers there. You can just rip them apart as well. Um, which we may do. If I break this... Oh! Okay. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. I think we're good. I will, however, say that there's another tripwire there. There's obviously this here. Um, and I'm not too sure, but sometimes there could be like, um, you know, TNT below, right? Looks like we're good though. Nice. We got a living flame, uh, which I will trade out for sticks. <laughs> and the rest I'll just put in my backpack real quick. Before they get me trading more stuff. Uh, diamonds I'll take. Bamboo spikes of poison I'll take. Um, and that's, I guess, pretty much it. We'll double check what's in this guy. Oh, um, can I open this? Just some arrows. And was it just arrows in here? Yeah, just arrows. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. Um, I will say, though, is, like... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's more hidden goodies if we want. Um, and I do want. So we'll take that. And the bamboo, because obviously you can grow that. Um, sweet. <laughs> okay, if there's more stuff in there, I do apologize. But we clearly have bigger fish to fry. Um, there's some zombies down here, oddly enough. I don't really know... Do we just build up to it? I mean, it's going to look hideous, me building up to it, but, I mean, if it works, it works, right? If I die here as well, that's going to be really bad. So I am a little tempted not to do this. Because <sighs> I don't know if there's mobs up there. You know what I mean? Like, there could be a bunch of spawners on top. I'll tell you what, I'll start heading up. If we see a bunch of mobs appear on the map, I will um, abort mission. As fun as it looks to go up there, I don't want to have to try to get my stuff back for the entire episode. Is that also a chest down there? It's an urn. Uh, I don't care too much about the urns. Okay, well, this is pretty much where we want to be. Um, okay. I'll meet you guys up there. We are here. Ghost Riders in the Sky. There are two spiders, at least.
We are now on the vessel. There are spawners. They, okay. I'll be honest, they look a lot scarier than I thought they would. Please do not shoot me, because I probably will just die on the spot. Okay. What's that? Burn blocks? That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. You friendly? I don't think he will be once he realizes I am on the vessel. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I am a little bit scared. Let's just get that stuff away. <gasps> what was that? What was that? Was that a good tree? Don't know. Okay. I'll be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to head to my base, which I'll be honest. I don't know where it is. So I may just land real quick and <laughs> double check where my base is. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's go here and show and our base is hold on hold on meet you guys back there <laughs> i probably could go to my actual um village that may be the better option which is just going to be here um yeah we'll probably do that then we can just teleport back home yeah that, that was definitely the play i don't think we were making it to our base um but i can drop this we don't take fall damage, and we're home. <laughs> we have all the vines, we have all the stuff, all the things. Everything should be good. Um, let's put some stuff away and read what we got. So we got Feather Falling 6. I will happily take that. We got Knockback 2 on an on an Iron Sword this time. We've got an, an actual weapon that we can probably uh, get some use out of. Our inventory is absolutely horrific, so maybe we'll empty the rest first. Backstabbing 2, um, a sword with Knockback 2 as well. And then just a bunch of other goodies, it looks like. Oh, we may also be full. Is that what's happening? Yes, we are currently full. Um, can we do some more storage? Allegedly, we can. We'll see if it actually can store the stuff. Um, okay, maybe we'll order just one. Can we order one? Yes. Right, here we go. Chuck that guy in there. Beautiful. And now I can continue dumping all this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let's try this again. Mending poppet. We just need... What do we need? Dried kelp. And that should be in here. Dried kelp. And we have a mending poppet. How does it work? Honestly, not a clue. Not a clue at all. But, we have it. <laughs> does it mend our tools? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I just kind of made it, obviously. But I don't really know what it does. Um, if we press U on it, it doesn't have any use. If I right click, it's right clicking my other thing. So I don't really know what it does. I don't know if you craft it together with the thing. Not a clue at all, but we have it. <laughs> so, you know what? There is a possibility. Maybe you can anvil it together with stuff. I think we have an anvil somewhere. Yep, we've got an anvil. Place that, that one there. Maybe this works? No. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Reforge? Okay. Well, we've got it. I'll just, I'll keep it in my inventory and we'll see if magically things heal, but I, I doubt they will, but we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll, we'll be hopeful. Okay. Um, what's next? Next is the matter condenser. If we want to try to make this guy, um, he will need some physically condensed matrix fragments and a suit machine casing. This guy's pretty easy to make. We can do that. Um, this thing though, we need a trial keystone and then trial keys. And then we can get some stuff from these guys. All right. Trial keystone needs trial keys. You can craft trial keys, but then you have to level them up or something. I, I'm not too sure, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit odd. Um, okay. Well, I was hoping one of the things that I crafted today would be a lot cooler than they've ended up being. So, so there's that. <laughs> well, do we want to do something else this episode? I, I mean, I do. I just don't really know. I, I didn't... I thought we'd, we'd do something with what we made. <laughs> we just clearly did not. Um, I'll tell you what. Our drill's losing power. Our access terminal thing here is losing power. Let's see if we can solve that. I, I think that'll probably be a good use of time. Um, to do that, we can go into the quest, jump down to power. We are going to make it... Oh, I haven't even ticked these things. My bad. My bad. We probably had a lot of quests to complete then. Um, what do I need to do? Hold on. Hold on. Let's grab out this, grab out this, grab out this, um, grab out this. 
I'll grab out this maybe. Not too sure if that needed to come out. Um, what have we done then? We've got this. Oh, okay. So we get a manual, we get the wrench, and we get a common loot bag from power. Another loot bag from power. Another one. Um, is there anything else here that we... Oh, the energy cell I already put away. That would have been a nice, nice loot bag. Um, we'll pick up the orb. We'll pick up, obviously, the rod. Um, do we have anything else over here? We don't. Okay, that's good. Um, we can smell up around the night. Uh, you know what? That's probably a decent play. So let's grab this out. Before I do that, is there any other use other than just smelting it? We could energize it and that would double it. So I'll tell you what, why not? May as well, I guess. It doesn't use that much power to be honest. And it's a pretty good deal. There we go. That's that problem solved. That's the Uranonite. That actually gave us a, a rare one, I think. Yeah, rare loot bag. There we go. Then there's reactors. Um, let's actually pick up this stuff. That'll be a good one as well. Pick up you and pick up you. And there we go. Completed that task. Oh. <laughs> Wrong way around. I mean, yeah, as long as the thing had power, it would work, I guess. All right. Uh, let's go in here. Grab that reward. We don't have one of these laying around, so that's a little bit annoying. We'll probably make one soon. Um, in the meantime, let's see what we get. So, common loot bags gives us photoelectric panes, um, dielectric casings, dielectric paste, and thermo plates. And, you know, a decent amount of the stuff. So that's pretty cool. These are, these panes, I imagine, will be solar panels. Yeah. I mean, we could do it. Yeah, let's, I'll tell you what. Let's order the stuff and get one of these, uh, one of these made. Why not? I'm sure that's a quest. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll take it. Nice. Um, let's accept this guy. And he gave us another wrench. Not sure why wrench is a loot reward when it is also an item that you get from the first quest, but... It's there. <laughs> I'll put those away. I don't even need them, to be honest. I don't think I need any of that. Um, then we have the rare loot bag, which gave us eight photoelectric panes. Nice. Um, so these are obviously solar panels. We just have to slap them somewhere connected to the grid. Um, so for example, if we've got cables running in the ground like here, I think that works. I think that will actually connect to them. I don't really have a way to prove it, aside from just... It might. <laughs> I guess we'll see at some point. I don't really know how. But, um, I, yeah, yeah, it's probably fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make one of those as well. So, those are going to be a dielectric case. Um, it is going to be, I believe, a tiny capacitor. So, we'll see if we can get one of those once that other recipe's done. There we go. And then, what was the last ingredient? I do not remember. The, oh, I already had one on me. I didn't even notice. Uh, the last ingredient was the Eye of Ender. So, Ender Pearl. Uh, actually, we'll just look up the recipe. That'll probably be the easiest. Eye of Ender. Beautiful. There we go. You can get more uh, uh, energizing rods, by the way. And you can also get more, like, higher tier ones. And they'll all laser at it. It has a pretty decent range, I believe, for, like, where you can place them. All right. Now that we do have wireless power, to a certain extent, we could move this. Uh, we could put it somewhere nicer i guess uh obviously i still want it somewhat near the base because i, I want to be able to mess around with it um but i mean out here kind of just looks silly i guess i had i wish i planned a spot to put it but i really don't know um yeah i'm not too sure probably i mean probably out here right and then we'll just have to head out here to get to it i, I mean that is one of the big problems with spacing out a base is when you need stuff done if realistically other we're probably gonna automate this and at that point we don't need to go to it. So yeah, I guess we'll we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> All right, the quest, we get a rare loot bag and we get another rare loot bag. Do we ever get like more rare, like epic loot bags or something? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Uh, aside from obviously the trophy at the, at the end. Um, what do these give? Rare, rare. Oh, we do, there, there are legendaries. Oh, and there are epic. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, I want to do that now. Hold on. We're, we're, we're going to start doing it, okay? <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Um, I guess we'll see. So I currently need iron. That's refined iron. Do we not have iron iron? We have one iron iron. <laughs> we're actually really not good on the iron iron department. But anyhow, I'll chuck that stuff in there. That'll uh, mix together. The further along the recipes go, the more power they need. So like some of these just won't happen. But I might put them there because I guess overnight they'll be done. Ah, oh, but do I want to do that? It's a little bit cheatsy. I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what we get to before it's like ridiculous to actually assume that it would finish. 
Um, so that's done. So two rares. What do we get? More photoelectric, more thermo plates, and we actually get a decent amount of dry ice. Dry ice is uh, used in the reactors to make them a little bit more uh, power efficient. So there we go. Um, what was next? Next is the blazing crystals. So that I believe there's a few recipes for the blazing crystal. If we go ahead and look it up. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, these can either be four blaze powders, which will cost you 120,000, or just one blaze rod. So that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, if we had it, but we don't. But we do, because I can just craft one. Awesome. So that will take 90,000 power. As you can see, it's going to take a little while, but, but it is achievable. Like, by the time the episode's done, this guy's probably going to be finished. Um, I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. with. It's so overwhelming trying to build a new area. Like... This, for example, we really should do something over here because we have the potential to make this look quite nice. I, I think these trees are taking up too much space, these ones here. So we'll get rid of that stuff. I might just try to get rid of them to the point where it looks natural. Like I think, I think if I get rid of these two trees, we're good. Okay, I think this now looks somewhat natural. Okay, I don't know why these are just floating there, but we'll, I guess we'll pick them up. Why not? Um, and so, I build something around this that latches onto that. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, we need iron and more Surtis Quartz if we want to do uh, stuff that I want to do. How many emeralds do we have now? We have eight. I'll go buy some more stuff. Um, iron we still need, obviously. I've got a bunch of iron ore. But what can I do with that? Mining bench. Maybe we trade with villagers for stuff. <laughs> Is that a horrible idea? I mean, honestly, at this point, we've really turned into just a villager colony. I I think we actually go ahead and do this. Um, it does not seem nearly as bad um, as it would otherwise. So I think, yeah, I could pulverize this stuff. That's sort of the, the main benefit I would have. So I'll keep some of it, and we'll pulverize some of it, and then we'll smelt some of it. The problem with smelting it is I need to catch it before it turns into refined iron. I think that's one of the big problems we're having. Uh, another question I have is, is there anything else I need to tick in any of these like quests that we're actually doing? You know what I mean? Like, is there a, just a, a little tick waiting for me to begin the journey? Is this one a tick one? It is. I'm going to take that because like we've already got this forge hammer. And then we've got, we don't have that much bronze, but we do have bronze. We do have a little bit. All right. And then, yeah, there's tools and armory as well. I mean, we've, we've done some of this stuff, I think. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Some are already finishing off. Beautiful. We got a sword. So we get an artifact loot bag. Oh, the artifacts are actually really good. Yeah, okay. I, You guys were telling me to do this a while ago. I, I do apologize for not doing so. I'll just go through here and accept all of the starting quests. Okay. I, I think I've accepted everything. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else I was doing there. Um, we got artifact and we got a agricultural one that gave me some egg sandwiches and we got from the artifact more running shoes nice gotta love the duplicates beautiful is there anything i can do with an artifact i guess we'll just send it on its way <laughs> all right well we tried um let's go ahead and smelt this stuff it's probably done beautiful all right we've got the iron i will say i thought we had a few iron pickaxes i know we have one in our backpack but we, yeah we do have this one I wonder, can I repair it with iron nuggets? Like, can I just fix it? No. I can fix it with one though, right? But it will cost a level. Hmm. Ah, now... Hmm. I, sh I probably should. All right, here we go. Iron pickaxe is now fully healed. Um, so, I should be able to make this mining bench. Beautiful. I'm... Yeah, honestly, you may have been able to slap in the uh, broken one in hindsight, but it's fine. Um, so, with the mining bench... We can now go and convert one of our villages. What I probably should do, though, is bring some uh, some wheat. How's the inventory looking? Uh, I do not need you. I don't need you. The rest is looking good. How's this going, by the way? Ooh, we're actually... Yeah, we're farming. We're farming, that's for sure. I'll put those two in. Get some more happening. Looking pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and jump to the village. Here we go. Uh, first things first, let's check in on the trading station. Maybe I'll top this up fully. I don't really know what it does, but I guess we'll see. And then we'll uh, do our trades. All right, so what I need to do is find that villager that didn't yet have a job. Um, 
we know he exists, or at least that he existed. We just don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. He, he, he walked himself in here. Beautiful. Um, are you going to make that your new job? Yes, he will. Here we go. So, we can now trade for stuff and things. We can actually give him deep sleep. Oh my god. So, if I open this guy up, we've got a, a lot of deep slate, to say the least. Let's put one in there to keep it filtered. Okay, that's him done. Should I just keep trading? I'll, I'll wait. We'll, we'll make sure that we unlock his new trade to see whatever it is so he gets experience still. Uh, oh, it's iron four emeralds. We obviously want iron as a, as a result. <sighs> I mean, I could probably give him copper. <laughs> I don't really need copper, but man. Yeah, I was really hoping there. Okay. Well, we tried. <laughs> I guess that makes it. I probably could have looked that up, couldn't I? In here to see what the actual trade would be for. Um, we could get diamond pickaxes or you can get maps that lead somewhere. Yeah, okay. I mean, it it makes sense. It does. Um, okay. Well, oh, you know what? I needed some more stuff while I was there. Hold on. <laughs> I need to trade with you. And I'm going to pretty much do that. I think I'm going to do the same with your buddy up here. No, nope, you're the same guy. I'm going to do the same with your buddy over here. I don't know where he is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have two of them, don't we? All right, beautiful. <laughs> we at least now have some more stuff to make a, a few more storage cells, I think. So maybe we'll see if we can get two more. No, nope, just one more. Nope, we don't even have glass. Okay, well, you know, we're we're trying. Um, I guess I'm going back to the desert. <laughs> I'm just traveling back and forth today. Uh, is there, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I feel like we're pretty much done for this episode. I, I don't really think we did too much, but I think what we did was pretty good. I know I wanted to clean up a little bit. I guess we just cleaned the farm. That was all we really did, right? Mm. Well, yeah, you know what? Nice and easy one. Pretty simple. <laughs> we, we tried out some new things. They didn't really go according to plan. Um, but no, hopefully it was fun regardless. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Thank you for supporting the channel by whatever means you do, whether it's just watching or, or whether you're a donator. Um, thank you, of course, to our channel members, um, our tier three channel members, Melizzy living over there in a much better looking base, <laughs> um, and Andre in the form of a wolf over there. Um, you know what? I, I think we've done big steps by by upgrading this <laughs> with a nice boundary around it. I think it looks infinitely better than what it looked before. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, hopefully this glass is almost done. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. I actually don't know what the thumbnail for this one's going to be. What do we do? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. We didn't really do much, did we? <laughs> I was going to do power stuff, but then I, I completely forgot. I mean, can I squeeze power stuff in there? It would be good. I'm not, you know, it'd be nice to do. Uh, I would need that stuff. Uh, I mean, like, we could do it. Could we do it? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. One second. What does this cost? An ender pearl and stuff. Hold on. Hold on. I think we can do this. <laughs> the episode's not over just yet. Craft an aerial pearl. Craft. Oh, sorry. Oh, did our system just turn off? Oh, you know what? Our thing probably died, didn't it? Yeah, okay. So we'll. Here, we'll let that charge. Yeah, that'll charge. It's going to drain all the power in the system, it looks like. But but it's charging, so we'll let it do its thing. In the meantime, I need to capture a zombie inside of this uh, pearl. So you just do that by right-clicking it, I believe. Um, and we should be able to get some here. The machine is on. We do have a zombie spawner up there. So we'll wait for one to fall. Or we can run out and grab one. You know, we, we don't have to do this. I just figured it would be easier. But I'm sitting here for... A ridiculous amount of time as we watch skeletons dance above when I can see multiple zombies on the map. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll just go grab this zombie. Um, you can also use husks by the looks of things. This thing looks very scary. Yep, that's a nightmare. We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave it. It didn't really seem to care about me, so I'm quite happy about that, but it's still very scary. <laughs> uh, so that should be good. We'll go pick up our little doohickey over here. There we go. Hopefully the system uh, can light back up. Beautiful. 
Um, we would like a player transmitter. I need to craft a few bits. They shouldn't take too long. And then put all the stuff in and we have a player transmitter. Now we also need a card of some sort. This guy here, a blank card. So that needs some stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Blank card. Awesome. And I believe what I do is I need to turn that into a binding card. And then in the perfect world, we right click it on an enderman. Um, for now, it's fine. I'll just right click it once and that will bind it to me. Then what we can do is we can place down this player transmitter attached to power somehow. So I guess here will probably work. I guess that might get some adjacent power and this will charge up. Now in my inventory, you can see this mining drill is 46% and obviously my hat here is uh, about 13%. If I chuck this in here, it should drain from here at whatever rate that is, 1000 per tick and charge my stuff up. So my drill's 100%. This thing up here didn't receive it, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm guessing what that means is I'll have to place it in my inventory if I want that to work. But as you can see, it's now at what? 15%, 16. So it's going to do a pretty decent job. Um, now obviously for this to work, this binding card works across this entire dimension, the entire overworld. It's pretty good. If we were in the nether, it would not work or like any other dimension. There is a trick you can do though. Um, and I'll do that real quick. <laughs> This is going to be the title of the episode as well. I hope you guys are aware of that. So hopefully it wasn't too clickbaity, I guess. Um, I mean, I don't think people click on the episodes for specifically what's happening. Or at least I hope they don't. It's more just like a nice checkpoint of when that thing did happen. Um, what we can do is find an Enderman. Um, which is apparently a lot easier said than done. They must be up top. Can we? <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. And we just right click him. There we go. And now our binding card is dimensional. So we can head on back to our base, chuck this guy back in and he'll charge across any dimension, assuming of course that he is chunk loaded. Um, and yeah, that should be good. He also, I mean, he's doing a pretty good job charging this thing compared to everything else we have, which concerns me a little bit. Cause like this guy was draining the entire system. I, I feel like there's some sort of power conversion that's happening where this is somehow a lot more efficient at doing it. Or maybe it's just because he had a 4 million buffer. In hindsight, that may have been all that it was. <laughs> Regardless, it looks pretty good. Uh, it is a little unfortunate that he doesn't charge in my hat. That's a little bit odd. I don't know if there is a solution to that uh, little issue, but it's cool nonetheless. I mean, the fact that our drill and I guess anything else on the hotbar will charge um, wirelessly as we use it is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully... <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. I'll probably sleep and then get a thumbnail of that thing. All right, yeah. Goodbye.